Ladies and gentlemen, the world's most advanced entertainment has now joined forces with the world's finest pizza. Okay, friends, so here's how I make the shows. So, I usually record on this phone, but just for this video, we only use the iPad that is currently being recorded. And we also use like song covers of the original songs. We sadly don't make our own because my singing kind of like the music kicks up my entire singing, so you would just hear the music. So, how I made these puppets is that I cut little through holes to place their, where their mouth is going to be, and I put the where the mouth is. So, if you want to tutorial that, put down in the comments below. Anyway, so. The reason why I decided to put another set of characters here is because, like, I, re I really wanted, like, more characters to make my room, like, a like super cool. Like, I just wanted my room to look good, so I decided I need some decoration. I'm crazy, I know. But there's a lot of decoration I decided to put in this room. Like, this desk. It's kind of like sh I, I showbiz pizza, because... I kind of, like, got the name from it, so I decided to be, like, look at the show, because it's kind of, like, inspired by Smitty Super Service Station. Just one thing I've been keeping a secret from you. A tiny fish hook stage. So, what do you guys think of this? If the comments aren't, if the comments aren't disabled, comment, comment below. What do you think of this tiny stage? So, I actually added a couple new characters. This one was made all before the other puppets. This is these are originals. So this is Billy Bob. He was at she was actually he was actually painted by my mom. But I painted the overalls. And Looney Bird was actually just painted by me entirely. And there's this character named Northridge, based off the name of the Chuck E. Cheeses in Northridge, California. And this is him. He is a mouse. And I made a little sign saying no smoking in the area with Chuck E. Cheese from the 80s or 70s smoking like he did. So, if, and there's a clapper up here. If I had pneumatics or something, I would kind of like use the pneumatics to make it clap after every show, kind of like the wink. But I do not have pneumatics and I do not really know how they work, so I can't do that. So, it's not really done yet. I'm planning to add more stuff, like a collection. So, yeah. See you in the next show. Okay, this is the first show that is five minutes long. started today i'd just like to thank all my fabulous fans for all their terrific support the fan mail had just been overwhelming hey just keep those cards and letters coming what cards and letters rob you ain't had no fan mail in weeks <laughs> <laughs> oh earl you slay me sometimes folks earl's just kidding actually the mailman brought in two big sacks of mail just this morning and hey little earl you can't tell me they weren't written by my adoring fans well, I don't know about that, Rob. The only way I see they could have been written by
you by your fans is if you changed your name to Occupan. What? That's right, bro. Out of all that mail, only two letters was addressed to you. Oh, well, hey, Earl, two fan letters is better than none. Hey, why don't you tell us who they were from? Sure, Earl. One was from your mother, and the other was from the IRS. And they both wanted money. What? You mean I, Rolf the Wolf, haven't received any fan mail? That's right, Rolf. None. Zip. Numero zero. Get my meaning. Catch my drift. But, but, but don't take it so hard, Rolf. Lots of good entertainers got your same exact problem. They do? Sure. And you know what they do about it? What? They get themselves a good agent. Oh, Earl, I wouldn't know where to start looking for a good agent. Well, I suggest you start at your right shoulder and move on down past your elbow and stop when you get to your wrist. Earl, you don't mean... Earl Schmurl, P-T-H-A. That's big time Hollywood agent reporting for duty. But Earl, you're just a puppet. So? So you're asking to hold a very important position. A lot of important positions is held by puppets. Well, I I don't know, Earl. Please, Earl. But Earl, why should I make you my agent? Look, Wolf, you want more fans, right? Right. And the best way to get more fans is to get more people watching the show, right? Well, I guess well, so. Well, I know how to get more people watching the show. Well, how's that, Earl? We gotta get us some really famous guest stars on here, like Barbara Streisand or Burt Reynolds or Olivia Newton-John. But how do we do that, Earl? That's where I come in. Earl Schmurl, P-T-H-A. That's big time Hollywood agent reporting for duty. Hey, Earl, if you can get Barbara Streisand on here, you can be my agent. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with Barbara Streisand. Smitty Super Service Station. If you're looking for good, dependable auto repair service and you don't want to pay an arm and a leg, why don't you try Smitty Super Service Station, where we always satisfy our customer. Salam, Salam, Mrs. Jones! There goes Mrs. Jones, another satisfied customer from Smitty Super Service Station. Just listen to that engine purr. Jerry the Bear with my friend Terry. Yes, our names are very similar, I know, but that's off track. If you want to go in the summer trying to find gifts for your family about about the fish and the marine life because of how obsessed they are with it, but you can't find a good store in Inglewood, well, good news for you because fish, fish Hooks and Gifts is now open for business. 
We hope to see you there. We hope to see you there and buy some more stuff. <laughs> Isn't that right, Terry? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is. So, you should just come here. Like, dude, what What are you doing just chilling at home watching this video? Come over here in Florida and Inglewood. We are currently recovering from Hurricane Ian. But don't worry, me and Terry are fine. We stayed in Las Vegas for the night. Yes, the Las Vegas, the city of gambling. We had to go there because we had no tickets for California. So we had to pack up our bags and go to Vegas. Plus, this place was really weird. They offered us a bunch of gambling things when we at the gambling place or whatever it's called. Yes, and if you yes, and if you want a Billy Bass. It's right in the Billy Bass corner. Yes, we have a Billy Bass Adoption Center. Okay, we hope to see you there. Bye-bye.